Hey guys, so Nike recently became the manufacturer for the NSL's fan gear and apparel, so what I want to do is just quickly pick up some of these at my Nike factory store. I just want to get a feel for the change from Reebok to Nike, so I've been pretty pleased with it, and I picked up a pair of shorts right here, as you can see. These are the dry fit shorts, and also a dry fit t-shirt, so here's our pricing for both. The shorts were $36, so definitely a little bit expensive. And then the t-shirt itself was $30, so I paid about $75 for both, so a t-shirt and shorts combo is pretty expensive at that price, but Nike is always really expensive. So the shorts themselves are very similar to any other pair of dry fit shorts, except that the Nike swoosh has been moved from the bottom right, which you can now see has the equipment NFL logo, and it's been changed over to the top right. You still have that same elastic strap on it. Very comfortable. You can see some Packers logo right here on the band. And then you have the Packers logo once again right here with so, sort of a dark gray trim and then a lighter gray material on the sides. Set this aside and take a look at the t-shirt itself, which like I said is a dry fit t-shirt. You can see on the inside right here, dry fit material, and it's NFL's on-field apparel. You can see it's actually just a plain old green design. Obviously it varies depending on the team. You have a nice big logo right there, depending on your team. And then on the sleeves, you have the Nike logo itself. So you can see if we flip this over, the Nike swoosh. So not too bad. They are actually pretty comfortable. They're dry fit material. Basically, everyone's tried it on. So it's very comfortable. Not too bad. I'm actually impressed with Nike's first showings on their NFL gear. So you'll see some more of this from me. Cheers, guys.